Hey, what is going on guys? We have a YouTube here back with another video and we have some Abyss Rising special edition news which is sort of all over YouTube already but my bad, I only got up now. <laughs> but in any case, uh, they released the two super rare uh, variants for the Abyss Rising special edition. This is the first time in a long time that we've actually gotten two sets in a row that have special edition so you're going to be getting Dark Smog or Gaga -ga -ga Girl and to make it easier for you guys, I'm actually going to check up the previous prices for these cards. I know Dark Smog was pushing thirty dollars at one point, but um, now it's at about eighteen dollars. So you're saving a good bit of money, obviously. And Gaga Girl, I'm not one hundred percent sure on that twenty dollars. I mean, you see, like it was a secret rare, so you know your base. That's like thirty-seven dollars worth of stuff that you're getting in a ten dollar tin or a ten dollar uh, special edition box. Which uh, you you have a fifty fifty chance of getting one of those cards. So either way, you're sa saving about seven or seven to ten dollars. So as usual, Konami, you're doing you know us a big favor. Although not in terms of the popularity of these cards, because Dark Smog is run as a side deck card in Dark Worlds, and although it is popular enough in my own local meta, in like kind of the greater meta of the universe, <laughs> shall we say, in the U.S. and the greater area, and um, Dark Worlds aren't nearly as popular. Uh, and Gaga stuff. Uh, if only to make them more playable. I mean, they are getting a lot of stuff. I mean, they're still getting support even now. Um, it's kind of all these like there's gag there's like draw they have draw power by banishing stuff from their graveyard and all this there's gaga bolt to destroy stuff and that uh, equip card kind of premature burial type thing. So they definitely have a lot of potential, but I just don't see them being being anything more than like a fun deck or whatever. Um, they're kind of mentioning other Gagaga monsters that are coming out in Abyss Rising to kind of add on to the, this, these cards. So maybe there's some sort of synergy between them. Obviously there is, if they're the same archetype. But in any case, guys, let me know what you think of these Super Rare variants. They're not as good as the, one with the previous ones. They're not as good as the, the Acid Golem and Hyper Librarian. They're really, really good. But uh, they're, they're still not bad, you know. Um, and, it, you know, it, it, make, it made, makes them legal in Europe if they were, they were released in other forms, like Shonen Jump or something. But in this case, they actually weren't, so it's all right. Anyway guys, that is it for the video, just a quick update video for you guys, so be sure to comment, rate and subscribe. As always, I am Weeby YouTuber. I'll come, with, uh, come to you guys with more news, if and when it arises, so I will catch you guys later. See ya.